All right, let me tell y'all right now, it's getting on my nerves. So it's a false narrative. I had a great old time. Thank you, Tamo, for bringing me out. It was beautiful. Um, I don't know what was miscommunicated or what was plotted against me, but I was supposed to perform. And that was that. Uh, the other... Okay. What's good, y'all? Shout out to the notification game for hitting the like button. The video didn't even start yet. Y'all the realest ones in it. I appreciate you anyway. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm not I'm not too sure what's going on, man. I, I said this before a few times. Um, you know, I, I wish I wish Christiana nothing but the best, and I hope that she gets uh, the help that she needs uh, as far as her alleged alcohol addiction, as far as her alleged weed, smoking, drug addiction, uh, all, all that all that good stuff, man. Um, uh, apparently, Christiana Rock allegedly assaults uh, someone by the name of James Wright. And when, when, when I was reading the article, shout out to Vibes Magazine. I'll I, I make sure I make sure to put that link in the description so you guys can go ahead and read that. Um, so you guys can go ahead and read that uh, that article if you're interested. I'll put that in the description. Uh, but shout out to Vibes uh, Vibes dot com whatever whatever it is whatever it is called because I was reading the article and it was basically saying that a lot of people were saying that she was clearly drunk. Uh, she came in smelling like weed. She was out of her mind. She was this. She was that. All, all, all that crazy stuff, man, and, and and it just really goes to show, man. You know, matter of fact, let, let, let me read this real quick. Uh, so, Christian Rock has been accused of assaulting James Wright Channel Chanel, uh, background singer to Tamar Braxton during one of her recent shows. The rapper and reality star was reportedly invited to Braxton's concert on Friday, November tenth, where she allegedly became angry after not being allowed to perform her music for the crowd. Uh, guys, I have a, a, a video, um, like a, like a, like I'll probably post like the two minute or three minute live session, uh, from her Instagram. Uh, I'll put it towards the end of this video. So y'all just stay tuned for that. All right. Uh, anyway, according to a member of Braxton's team, uh, Latroy Davis, Rock came to the venue, quote unquote, drunk with a thousand people smelling like weed in quotation. Davis detailed that Rock got into some sort of argument with Wright Chanel, uh, with James Wright Chanel. Uh, backstage about not being able to perform and then struck the frank the singer in his face leaving him bloody with a chipped tooth he reportedly had to seek medical attention to stop the bleeding so you know real, real quick and fellas I, I, I really i really want y'all boys to pay attention man because um i mean there's more i'm going to read more but real quick i want y'all boys to pay attention because whenever a woman assaults a man women find it funny they find it so hilarious all in the comment sections on instagram all the comment section on the vibes and on Facebook and stuff like that because I, I saw it on Facebook. I'm, I'm literally at work right now. I'm, I'm scrolling through work. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm on my lunch break eating, you know, eating my eating my sandwich that, that, I, that I ordered or whatever the case may be. And somebody shared it on Facebook. And I said, oh, snap, what the hell? Like, I, I didn't even know this was going on. So I'm reading it and stuff like that. And women found it so goddamn funny. They found it so goddamn funny. They found excuses trying to justify as to why she assaulted this man. They, they was going to as far as, say, as saying, oh, oh, well, he's gay and he probably said this and he probably was being shady and whatever case may be. All of that is irrelevant, even if it is true. All of that is irrelevant. Why? That does None of that justifies why you, a woman, a grown person in general, should be able to put your hands on someone else. But fellas, again, I want y'all boys to pay attention. I want y'all boys to pay attention because these are the types of things that tends to happen, especially with us. And, th and th this is a black man. I don't care whether he gay, straight, bi. I don't. I don't give a damn about none of that. At the end of the day, this man was assaulted to the point where he needed medical attention. That's all that goddamn matters. But I want y'all boys to pay attention because this is the type of stuff that happens often. And when it does happen from a woman towards a man, it's laughable. It's that they want to make jokes and memes about it. But let this man have retaliated, not even retaliated, I'm sorry. Let this man have properly, legally defended himself and start putting hands on her back. The same woman would have been saying, oh, he lost control. Oh, I can't believe him. Why would he think it's okay to put his hands on women? Oh my God, protect black women, protect black women. So I want y'all boys to pay attention to that. But let's keep going. Um, it is what it is. Uh... Yeah, so in, in, in a since deleted Instagram post, Davis wrote, I just wanted to let y'all know that uh that that girl, Krishan, y'all keep hyping up, assaulted James Wright Chanel at tomorrow's concert tonight. James is in the hospital. I swear I will do everything to make sure she goes to prison. That's a fact. 
You should, first of all, she should not have even been able to leave the event, the venue, period, without leaving the goddamn handcuffs. But let's keep going. Uh, he goes on to say she is trash, and that's why her life is the way that it is. She deserves every bad thing that happens to her. In response to Davis Rock uh, hopping on IG Live the next day, defending herself, and of course, uh, like I said, I'll put that towards the end of this video. Uh, I, I, she says, quote, I've been brought up before, and I know uh, it goes a certain way. False narrative saying this happened, she did that, I don't know. I think it's just a clout chasing thing. Honestly, I need to start protecting my name, she said. So let me let, let me respond to that. You have someone, multiple people, first of all, that's that said, yo, they they witnessed her assaulting someone. And let's just say that 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 all these people is lying. Let's just say all these people is lying. I mean, I will hope that these people are not gonna lie about this, but let's just say all these people is lying. What's gonna become of that liar? She should sue for defamation. Uh, there should be charges brought against them for, I mean, well, they didn't, they, well, I don't know, maybe they didn't feel, uh, file a false police, police report, so we, we don't know, but let, but anyway, let, 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 let me, let me hurry up and get through this, man, because I, I, I got, I, I got to hurry up and get back to work, man, I, I ran outside, I'm over here, I, I want to finish my damn sandwich, <laughs> uh, uh, James Chanel, uh, James Wright Chanel seemingly confirmed that he was assaulted by the new mother in a video where he did not show his face, saying, quote, everybody wanted to tell stories and tell their versions, I was an innocent bystander, he says in complete darkness, quote, you know you still gotta keep uh, joy and stuff. I don't know what 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 would be wrong with people. In quotation, he want he went on to say, uh, "quote All I did was went to the work was went to work. Y'all already know what type of person I am. But let me tell you what ain't going what 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 ain't nobody gonna do. Ain't nobody gonna take my joy, my praise, my worship. Y'all see my effing face, and I still got joy." In quotations. Since then, Rock has deactivated her social media accounts. Yeah, I bet I bet she did. Uh, Braxton has not commented on the incident. In surface clips of that night's show, Rock has been seen awkwardly taking the stage with Braxton, with some of her accusing uh, accusing her of pulling a quote "little mama." Uh, Rock walked across the stage, ad living words on the microphone as Braxton performed "Love and War." She also uh, seen flicking it up with Tony and Tamar Braxton as she attempted to twerk in the photo, leaving Tony with a bewildered face. Uh, with a bewildered look on her face, um, and, and let me let, let me let me lastly end this by uh, saying that who was this? Mr. L. Davis made a post on Instagram, basically saying, "I just want to let y'all know that that girl, Christian Rock, uh, that y'all keep hyping, uh, assaulted James Wright Chanel at tomorrow's concert tonight. James is in the hospital. I swear I'll do everything to make sure that she goes to prison. She is trash, and that's why her life is what it is. She deserves every bad thing that happens." To her, so listen, listen, fellas. Again, what can we what, what can we learn from this? Uh, the things that we can learn is um, they're always going to stay and scream, protect them. But then when it comes to us, they're not going to protect us. Uh, Kevin Samuel said this years ago. I've heard this from my uncles. I've heard this from my own father, where they say, "Yo, nothing. Nobody's going to come to protect you. Nobody's going to come to save you. Best to figure out." Uh, what you can do in certain situations and move accordingly because at the end of the day these same women that's running around screaming protect us protect us protect us will act violently towards you the reason why allegedly she was acting violently towards uh mr what's his name james james Wright, chanel whatever his name is is because apparently she was supposed to perform a song uh, I think she has like a new a new single that she dropped. Uh, I, I think like a couple weeks ago with whatever the, what the, the I think he's a YouTuber or whatever. But whatever the guy's name is, she got upset because she was unable to perform. Now, be that as it may, again that still doesn't give you a right to uh, put your hands on someone. She goes on to say, "Hey, listen. Well, I was told that I can perform my song. Now you're telling me I can't perform my song. What's going on?" To which they allegedly responded, "Oh, well, you know, I, I, I didn't tell you that that you could perform your song." And then she got up, extremely upset and irate, saying, "Oh, you're lying. You're lying. You did tell me that." And then that's when the alleged assault ensued. So again, fellas, what can we learn from this? This is the type of stuff that we have to deal with, fellas. This is the type of stuff that we have to put up with all the damn time. Protect women. Protect black women. But then them same women, the same black women that's assaulting you, those same damn women, those same damn black women is going to sit there, make memes, laughing about it, putting OMG, oh, she put them paws on them, laugh my, laugh my, fucking, laugh my ass off, and all that stupid ass acronyms that, that, that they be placing on with the laughing emojis, all of that stuff. And it's a shame, because at the end of the day, it's like, yo, listen, this man got assaulted. But here they go. Oh, well, he's gay. He's this, that, third. I was like, yo, I didn't even, first of all, I didn't even know he's gay. I've never heard of this man before, honestly. But I wasn't, I didn't even know this man was gay, number one. And even if he is gay, so what? Who can, Who gives a damn? What does that have to do with the topic at, at hand of him being assaulted by, allegedly assaulted by Christian Rock? What does that have to do with anything? 
people need to learn how to put they put to keep their hands to themselves. Again, in the comment section, nothing but laughing emojis from women. Talk about oh he was pro oh he probably deserved it. She he was probably throwing shade at her. He was probably being shady. Y'all know how gay men do. That that's the stuff that it was commenting. And I'm like, what the hell does any of that have to do? Even if he was doing all that, so goddamn what? That does not justify you or anybody putting your hands on somebody. But this is their logic. Why they justify the things that they do and the things that other, their other, you know, uh, they, 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 they do to other people. I tell y'all boys all the time, man, they're going to always st stick up and stand up for each other and stand up for each other. Clearly, uh, stick up and stand up for each other. Clearly when they are in the wrong. Again, assuming that this is true, she needs to be in jail. That's it. Point blank, period. Maybe y'all think differently, man. So I want y'all to think, comment down below. Let me know what y'all thought about this video, man. Thanks for watching. Please, 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 if you haven't, hit that subscribe button, man. Also, too, hit that bell, send size. Anytime I make an upload, notification will pop up and alert you. Also, too, make sure you hit that like. Make sure you hit that share. I look forward to reading all your comments, if any. So, until next time, please, man. Y'all be safe for Erica. All right, let me tell y'all right now. It's getting on my nerves. So this is a false narrative. I had a great old time. Thank you, Tamo, for bringing me out. It was beautiful. Um, I don't know what was miscommunicated or what was plotted against me, but I was supposed to perform. And that was that. Uh, the other... You want to talk about that? Oh, some Gatorade, please. Uh, Gatorade? It's a Gatorade? Yeah. Uh, so, I'm just like, I don't know. The more famous I get, the more tricky this shit get. Like, usually when I get invited out to a perform at a show, I let you say it, like, oh yeah, okay, you're gonna perform after this set, blah blah, like sexy red, gorilla, like not like that, but I've been brought out before and I know how it goes a certain way. Um, I did have my team there, uh, but it wasn't like we was in her room together. I went alone and stuff. So, uh, yeah, y'all saw how I was on live. I was by myself. I wasn't with my team. My team was outside waiting. Just wait until, I don't know, it was time to work, you know? So that's what that happened. All this other false narrative saying this happened, she did that. I don't know what that, I don't know. I think it's just a clout chasing thing. So honestly, I have to start protecting my name when I, I don't know. I don't know how you step in situations like that. So um, it had nothing to do with Tamar. Uh, it was some other shit like, the guy that's talking, talking about how he put it together, he didn't put anything together, and I never talked to him. Um, I directly talked to Tamar. She communicated that I could come out, and that was that. Uh, I don't know who that guy is because I never talked to him. The guy that got that he's not gay, but he like whatever. He like boys. Him, I don't know how you say. I don't want to be rude, like, because I'm not on this. I don't know what's going on. And why niggas popping it like I'm not just a female like and the clout chasing shit is kind of uh, it's getting out of hand so but nah, it was nothing between me and Tamar I had nothing to do with any of that but I don't know who's I don't know it was just like wicked stuff start happening and then I don't know and then I let that go I went nigga, I went to a party we back home to my kid, nigga. But, like, I don't... I have fun. What I don't get is the storytelling. Like, why everybody's storytelling? Y'all got all the videos of us cheering, praying. Pr post Y'all was posted that. Post the other shit y'all talking about because everything is recorded and documented. So.